Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session in Dentistry and More. First of all, let me wish you a very happy new year. So today's session is not about any dental topic. This is related to dentistry as a whole. You might have guessed from the thumbnail itself. So I have listed few problems what the dentistry in India is facing. And this is a very personal opinion. Uh, I can uh, list out uh, a number of problems what uh, we are going through or the dentist in India going through or the dentistry of India is facing uh, at present. So this is what I feel the core problem. The first problem what I felt was the lack of interest, then the lack of government jobs, then the lack of awareness uh, among the public related to oral health and the lack of quality of the education being provided. So we'll start with the first one that is the lack of interest. So lack of interest for the students who are taking up the dental degree. Because we know when we write uh, our NEET exam or the common entrance exam, all aim for the highest degree that is the MBBS degree. So people around 80 to 90 percentage who are joining for dental degree is people who are not having enough ranks to get an MBBS degree. So they are taking dental degree mm, not by choice. So they are taking the BDS or dental degree just because they don't get the better one. So from that point itself, the dental degree is not their passion. There is a lack of interest in those people. At that point itself, that person or the student is not having a passion towards the profession. So without passion, uh, growing up is very difficult. So the foremost problem is lack of interest. So how can we solve it? This is my personal opinion. We need to have an exclusive dental exam, just like a USA or those licensure exam in Canada. So all those countries are having separate dental licensure exam. Only those who are interested in dentistry can take up that exam and write and join and practice. It should not link with other degrees. Only people are interested in dentistry should join it. That is what I feel. The first one, the lack of interest can be managed with this. This is very hypothetical uh, suggestions. The second one is lack of dental job. So as per the latest survey, just 2.7 percentage are into the government sector so comparatively government sector is having a better pay comparatively better pay so imagine it is not at all proportionate just 2.7 percentage so from the government point of view it is might be might be difficult to keep a dentist in job because government has to uh, build the infrastructure the dental chair and all those accessories might cost four to five lakhs but still it is proportionately very very low so what I feel is at least a 15 to 20 percentage should be the intake into government jobs. So that is a comparatively a better proportion. 2.7 is very, very minimal. And the next problem is lack of awareness, awareness to the public. Because people, they don't have much awareness about oral health and its consequences. How oral health is related to general health. How oral health should be maintained. People have very poor knowledge about oral health. So the lack of awareness is ultimately causing a damage to the dentist profession because people uh, who are not turning up to dentist for a checkup, they turning up to dentist only when they have pain. So pain is the only thing which majority of the Indian population is going to a dentist. So that awareness is very, very low. So that should be improved. The government, the NGOs, the private firms, all should combinedly improve the knowledge by programs, seminars, conferences, public awareness strategies, all methods can be used and the awareness should be increased. So a little change in the awareness will change the number of patients and that will result in a lot of problem among dentists because patients should be there for every dentist. Next what I felt is lack of quality of education is being given in our country. It should be maintained by the Dental Council of India, the curriculum should be updated from time to time because there are, there are lots of changes happening in the technology side and dentistry. The amalgam which we are studying in uh, dentistry for, for the undergraduate time for two to three years in detail. Nowadays, very few clinics or less than 10 percentage clinics are using this amalgam as a restorative material because it was the first material. There was no material or there was no option at that time but we have plenty of options nowadays so a student who learns amalgam from years and coming out joining a clinic and there is no amalgam and the newer materials are not being taught 
so the curriculum should be updated otherwise what happens is once the student is out for practicing he is under equipped with technology side so he has to go for extra training he has to uh, extra training so he has to pay extra money so that will give additional burden for that person so amalgam is just an example so there are lots of newer techniques uh, newer materials newer uh, instruments are coming into the industry uh, day by day so once we out for practice we need to know everything so we need to have at least the basic knowledge but we are still studying the very old chapters or very old uh, textbooks which is not updated but uh, there is nothing wrong with the curriculum the curriculum is fine but a time to time updation in the curriculum is uh, a must lack of quality of education that should be dealt from the dental council of india and many colleges we know the colleges the private firms are under equipped under staffed under infrastructure so a college can be modestly run with a 50 students are taking up 100 students so the each student is getting half of the patients so their exposure is half their quality also will be half so that problem should be corrected from dental council of india so these are my personal opinion this is what i felt there are lots of problems i can say few states is having many many colleges like kerala karnataka tamil nadu is having 25 plus colleges few states is not having any colleges so unequal distribution of dental colleges is another problem and another problem is uh, the most of the people work in urban setup and nobody were in rural setup because they have their own uh, reason because in a rural setup the people's uh, payable condition is less purchasing power is less but what happens all the people are uh, in the urban setup or in a town where the patients will be divided the profit will be divided sometimes they don't even reach a break even level so problems are there many problems are but this is what i felt should be addressed first that is creating interest only interested people should join the industry there should be a substantial increase in government job percentage there should be improvement in people's awareness and there should be a good quality we should be competent it should be at a international standards so this is what i felt my very personal opinion you might have very different opinions and you can point out many problems and many solutions i know that i agree that but this is what i felt so i'll come up with a different topic in the industry amma thank you